Hi, I'm Peggy. Thanks for joining me. Today I'd like to show you just how easy it is to install Garden Read Accent Lighting and how it can totally transform your landscaping. So let's get started. This video is sponsored by Garden Read. Garden Read provided me with this complete accent lighting set in exchange for my honest review. The lighting kit arrived in two days in two very heavy boxes. So here's a look at everything included in the accent lighting kit with eight lights. Everything is individually packaged as you can see. I received eight of these heavy duty brass lighting fixtures which are just really nice heavyweight brushed brass finish very nice looking and very substantial the heaviest lighting I've ever seen for landscape lighting and each one has an additional six feet of cord that comes with the connectors that's just the box that the lighting was in it comes with um, the bulbs for the lighting stakes for each light this kit came with 100 feet of low voltage wiring, comes with a timer, um, an additional connectors should you need any extras, a little tool that came with the transformer, and this is the transformer and the stainless steel box, nice and heavy. Um, everything just seems to be very solid, very nice quality. I'm impressed, I must say. The first step is to assemble these mini accent lights. This kit has eight. Everything I need for each fixture is packaged in the box, which makes it very convenient. Now I'm ready to put the bulb in the fixture. So I'm going to unscrew the top, and as you can see, it has two weatherproofing O-rings to keep moisture and water from getting down into the fixture. To put in the bulb, I simply align the prongs on the bulb with the holes in the fixture and press the bulb down between the two clamps, aligning the prongs and the holes. To add the stake, I passed the wire through the opening at the top of the stake and then twisted the head of the lighting fixture into the stake until it was tight. I repeated all of these steps until all of my lighting fixtures were assembled. The next step is mounting the transformer. I did en enlist some assistance in this step. However, one of the most important things to keep in mind when mounting your transformer is that you do need an electrical outlet nearby. For that reason, I opted to have my transformer mounted in the back area of my screen room. Next, I dug a trench in my garden area and laid out the wire to make sure that the wiring would go from my transformer to where I wanted to place lights. Once that was determined, it was time to start connecting the lights. This required stripping back the plastic on the wiring to expose the wire itself, separating it into two wires, then connecting it to the wires coming from the transformer. Once the wires were joined, they were capped off using a connector. This process was followed for each light. Please keep in mind we are not electricians, so if you have any electrical questions, please um, ask a professional. This is just how we set up ours. Once each light was connected to the wiring, we did a test run just to make sure that the lights work before burying the cable. Okay, now we're ready for the installation and setup of the timer. Timer came with an easy to follow instruction booklet. It's as easy to set up as pushing down the pegs for the hours that you want the lights to come on and pulling up the pegs for all the hours that you did not want the lights on. It was that simple. Next, you just turn the dial to set the current time. Then go to the top of the timer and slide the little tab over to the area that says timer on. So now, it's ready to just go pop it into the transformer. 
Make sure the power is off. Unplug the plug in the in the transformer. Excuse me. Plug that into your timer. Plug your timer into the transformer, and your transformer is now on timer. And also note that the wires that the lights are connected into are coming in through the bottom of the box and they are in the first two slots on my transformer based on the voltage that I'm using. Now my transformer is ready to go. With the cables buried and all my plants in place, I went through and staked each light where I think that it will give me the effect that I'm looking for. So in this case, since I live on the water, I was kind of more concerned about how things look from my patio. And so I opted to put the lights behind the pots on the side facing the patio so that I would be able to see the up lighting. Um, I pointed most of the lights up as you can see and some I just kind of pointed towards the plant in the pot so that the accent lighting could highlight the plants. The nice thing about these lights is these adjustments are easy to make. All you have to do is turn this little button on the side, make your adjustment as to how, what angle you wanted the light to be to shine on whatever object you wanted it on and then just tighten it back up and everything stayed in place. When everything was said and done, this is what my garden area looked like at dusk with no lights on. As you can see, nothing very eye-catching, nothing standing out to get your attention. And then, <laughs> with the lights on, a totally different scenario. Look at the transformation just by flipping a switch. I think this lighting system is absolutely beautiful. It's uh, very durable. I expect it to last for many years to come. The whole set, in fact, seems like to be very good quality. Thank you so much, Garden Reed. There's a link down in the description box if you're interested in going to Garden Reed and checking out what they have to offer. Uh, I highly recommend their lighting system if you want a top quality lighting system that's going to last for years to come. Thank you so much for watching. Stay well and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.